So let us see how to work on if else condition, but this time it would be on two different columns. Okay, that's known as conditional column on two column. That's a video all about. I have a sample data where I have name of the person, the gender, whether is a male or female, and what is the marriage status, whether the person is married or unmarried. Okay, married or single. Now based on this two columns, that is gender and marriage status, I want to give a prefix. Okay, and the prefix can be anything here. It can be Mr, Miss or Mrs. So when should be given prefix as Mr. Okay, I'll write here as prefix. When should be give a prefix as Mr. When the gender is male and marriage status, no problem. Whether it's married or single, that person will be always Mr. So when you should give us Miss, the gender is female and the marriage status is single. Mrs. should come gender female and marriage status as married. So this condition is in this two columns. So for example, here I should give the prefix as Mr. Here, if you see female and single, I should give as Miss. Female and married, I should give as Mrs. Okay, this three prefix I should give it. So how do I do it with the help of conditional column in Power Query or Power BI? It's very simple and easy. Okay, here you have to write some function or code. Let us see in Power Query. I have loaded the data and you can see the same data is there. CC to column, that's the name of the table, same data, no problem. I can go to this add column, conditional column and here I can select the option. If gender equals to M, which is male, I can write as Mr. So it is based on gender. The prefix should be based on gender. So if it is married or unmarried, no problem. Okay, he'll get always Mr. Now to add one more condition, I'll click on add clause. And here I can say, and if the marriage status is equal to S, is equal to S, then you should give us miss as prefix. So this will be for female. Okay, when the marriage status is single, that will be for miss and otherwise give us misses. So very simple. You can just apply this condition and here I can write as prefix, prefix and click on OK. Okay, now this will generate a new column. Some error is given. Let me find out what is that error. So marriage status equal to S. Yeah, so the error is given because the file is open at the back end, the Excel file. So I can just click on cancel. This Excel file should be closed. I'll close that Excel file and I can come to Power BI, home menu bar and click on refresh. So you see whenever the Excel file is open, this will throw an error message. So you see that's a prefix given Mr, Miss and Mrs. So if you cross check for Lou, which is female, single, Miss. For Rita, female, married and Mrs. So these are the prefix which are given here. I can just drag and drop on the left hand side. That's it. So I hope you have understood how to work on conditional column when there are two different columns and you want to apply that. That's all for this video.